Welcome to the Old Boar Play City Skylines. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a custom map of a real location. We'll also make an image of the streets with transparency to overlay your map so that you can trace roads underneath it. First, go to the Steam Workshop and subscribe to the Image Overlay 2 mod. Then you'll want to come to the City Skylines Map Generator page. This is Long Beach, California. You can see we have an 81 tile square around 25 tiles around your starting square. If you drag this, you can move the map around. If you drag this, you can move your 81 tiles wherever you want them. Don't worry about the starting square, you can put that anywhere you want inside of the City Skylines Map Editor. I'm going to be building a city on a little island in southern Japan. I want to zoom into my area. This is the island of Kumajima. I'm going to put the little hand right over the center of the island. You can see the extent to where the map is going to form. This website is going to make all the files you need. You can drag this around wherever you want it, centering it however you like. Now we need to go to the settings. If you want to build a true to scale map, you'll need to keep this at 17.28 kilometers. The height scale is set at 100%. I like the mountains a little bit more pronounced, so I'm going to move this all the way up to 250%. Now hit auto, and we're ready to start making our files. This icon here is the download PNG height map. This is going to allow you to start with a blank map and put in the heights of all the mountains and contours. So we'll download this file. Now we want to download the streets. This image comes from OpenStreetMaps. Now I want to download a satellite image so that I can see some details. You don't want to move your map around at all, you want these images to be exact. And now I'll be downloading another map image. So if we open our downloads folder, we'll see that we have two map images and one height map. These two map images, this one is the streets, and this one is the satellite image. I'm going to copy these, and I'm going to place them in a directory called Files. I'll give the URLs in the description of this. All you'll need to do is change your username, and you'll be directed to this folder on your computer. So I'm going to paste the files here. And I'm going to rename this one Kumajima Streets. This is the satellite image. I'm going to rename it Kumajima Satellite. Now your overlay images are set. Now we need to take the height map, copy it, and we're going to move it into another folder. When you visit this folder, you may have to create the height maps directory. You may also have to go to view and click hidden files to even find these directories. Paste your height map here. You might want to rename this as well, Kumajima height map. That's all you need to do. 
And now we can open up the map editor in City Skylines. Go to Editors, and Map Editor, and New. Because I'm building a city in Japan, I want to click left-hand traffic. You can use user themes, but I'm making this map completely vanilla, so I'm going to use the built-in themes. We have Temperate, Boreal, Tropical, and European. I'm going to stay with Temperate and hit the create button. Now we're inside the map editor for city skylines. We have some requirements to meet and we'll get to that in a minute. First click this icon to import your height map. It's going to show the height map here and you just import it and you have your little island. We'll take a look at the options and we'll take a look at image overlay. These are the keys that you're going to use when you're in game. Mostly you're going to use shift return to show and hide your images. And then you're going to use shift R to cycle through the two images that we've put in. If your images don't fit directly over your height map, you'll need to use some of these other keys and adjust those. The Shift E key and the Shift Q key rotate the images. And the Shift equal sign key or the Shift underscore key enlarge and shrink the images. This is going to be the north side of the map. And if we hit Shift Enter, our satellite images come in. Now if we hit Shift R, we're going to cycle through the images. And this is our street map. It nicely lays over your streets on top of your island. Now I can hit shift enter again and start to work with this map. A few other things that I want to do here, I want to set the sea level. So come to your water icon this is your move sea level. You want to click this and if you notice, we have an up and down arrow. I don't have my fingers on my mouse right now. I'm going to left click on my mouse and I'm going to move this in and out until I see that my sea level is right up against the edge of the island. And also hit shift enter. See that our image overlay is showing just a little bit more. So I might want to gently move in and out. I'm actually moving my mouse forward and backwards with my left mouse button held down. Now if I let go of my left mouse button and I start the game you can go to the edge of your map and see the water start coming in we're going to speed up the map this takes a few minutes to fill in the map
Now we have water in our map. You can always adjust this sea level if you need to. Just come in, click on this, move it in or out. Might want to move it out just a bit. We fulfilled one of our requirements. Have water stream in the starting area. Click on your map settings icon and your starting tile and you can place your tile wherever you want. Now we can take a snapshot so that when we save our game it has some kind of an image there. Now we can overlay our image and take a look at this. And we can rotate through our images with shift R to see the satellite image. I fell in love with this map when I first found it on the workshop, but it's not one to one scale. It's not completely vanilla, so I decided to do this map to start my series with. So now we need to save our map so that we can come back to it and work on it. You want to save map. I have two other maps I've subscribed to on the Steam Workshop. This is the map that inspired me to do my own. So here you want to put the new map's name you also want to put the same name in the map name. We've saved our map. We don't want to publish it yet. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of requirements to fulfill. We might go into our mod options, into the image overlay. We might drop down the transparency to about 70. We get a little bit better look at our map that way. We can also drop it down to about 50. You can still see our roads and all the features. So thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.